about to start. everyone. Welcome to another episode of No Conduct Radio. Uh, tonight we're discussing Logic's question because I found that answers interesting. Um, last week his question was, um, you know, what if um, a, a guy did the whole ceremony, gave you a ring, did a ceremony in front of your friends and family, um, put a will in your name, you can change your last name, everything. The only thing he didn't want to do is um, actually sign the paper for the government to get involved. Would you still marry him? And I did put that question out there, and we got back a lot of interesting responses. So uh, we're going to discuss those responses today. Um, right now we're joined by <laughs> Logic and BJ, and, you know, where Shar is somewhere. So how's everyone doing? Tired as hell. <laughs> tired. What did I tell you? Did I tell you? <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, I could tell by the body. People make a certain noise when they're so tired that they're just over it. And the way that stuff was crashing in the background, <laughs> like he was just throwing stuff out of the way. I was throwing Get that over here. I need to get, yep. get that out of here. <laughs> I was, yep, yep. That's what I was doing. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that's when you, That's when you kick your shoes. You ever come into a room and you see somebody with like half a boot on, like it, it's past <laughs> their heel? But it's still on that that top front part yeah. of the foot, and it just yeah. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, it was that kind of day. <laughs> what happened? Did you have to go to uh, New York today? No, if I wanted, nah, nah, nah. I just had to meet clients and stuff. I was just running around. That's all. I just, just yeah. yeah. Mm. It's, it, it's crazy, but it's, you know, I figured yeah, I would slow down before the how the holidays get here. This isn't crazy. Oh right, yo. I guess I'll cut my phone off. Well, I, I don't know why you thought it would slow down. It usually only yeah. slows down, like, what, the day yeah, before? Like, I don't know. I don't thought I cut my phone off for four hours just to get, just to disconnect for four hours. <laughs> Sorry, People are calling you like that? I don't even cut my phone off at night. I, I can't. I, I can't, but I really can't because I lose a lot of stuff. So it's just, yeah, constant. Maybe it wasn't I don't sleep. Yeah, yeah, I, I learned. To, I learned that I have to turn my phone off. I got. So. I have to. I hate to do it because I know my kids do, but I, I gotta. I gotta cut it off. I'm sorry. I gotta cut it off. It's just. Well, uh, maybe give them like you can. You can ignore what? everybody except certain numbers. So why don't you do that? No, the thing is, um, if, if I'm trying to go to sleep and I get a text, because people like, and like, let's say the West Coast, they think I'm still up. I'm like, nah, and they get up. You know, it's time difference. So it's crazy, even. Out of, uh, abroad, so I'm like, yo, I'm sleep. I gotta sleep sometime. But you know, and my well, kids, you know, they what? Yeah. Well, that's what Ten I'm out saying. There is you, one can, here. you can completely ignore everybody except certain but you, numbers. But even my kids, so yeah, you can that's ignore any kids. other number yeah. except except yeah. your kids. That's what I'm saying. Put their number well, in your phone, and that's not I being ignored. Know, I want to know them too. They call me dumb hours at night too, and it's like my daughter. My thirteen year old. She 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 text me in uh in school. I'm like, um I'm she's like, Oh, eight thirty. Dad, what you doing? What? I said, Hold on, aren't you in class? How can you do this in class? Oh, I'm walking through the hall. I'm going um uh, going through classes. I said, Oh my god. I said, Stay, Well, she stop. loves you. Uh, yeah, but in school it's not an emergency. Don't text daddy for like random questions. Hey, oh, oh daddy, we got a trip coming up. Said, yeah, it is. I was like, yo, this is, is this girl here, man. That's the one I called me all kinds of hours at night, and, and it's crazy. Uh, whatever. I'm going to start ignoring them, too. Whatever. You know when you're going to start really complaining? Is what? when she doesn't call you. No, really, that's, that's not one to complain because that's like a break. 
She always, yeah, that's a very tough one. <laughs> wow. See, Ka- you know, see, Ka- 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 your Ka- problem Ka- is you're a girl, and you don't realize how irritating it is for men to talk to girls the way girls want to talk. Thank you. Hey, and especially 13 uh, year old girls. 13, oh, my God. It's like I fully know everything that, you know, up to date with stuff. I like, oh, I don't follow this. Y'all kind of trends. Oh, man. Already she talking about Christmas, <laughs> Christmas list. She talking about a Christmas list. I was like, what's this? I don't know what this is. Oh, Daddy, Google it. I got to Google what you want for Christmas? Okay, yeah. <laughs> you know, you old, Dad. I'm like, uh, yeah, okay. You know, still ask Daddy for some Christmas gifts and, and we we'll give you money. That's crazy. Like, that girl, I'm going to tell you that. Let me ask the golden man question. When is the oh. last time a woman called you to do something for you? Ooh, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> what? I wish. I wish. There you go. I, 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 I don't know. I, I think I had hair then. Yeah, I had hair. <laughs> wow. I think yeah. I had a full head of hair. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, but listen, I'm, I'm bald, so yeah, let's put it that way. Yeah, I had a full head of hair uh-huh. in my prom. That sounds about right. In my prom. That sounds about right. <laughs> well, Crazy. y'all are just choosing the wrong women. That's your problem. No, 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 please. Really? Oh, God. <laughs> and, what, and what is the right You don't one? agree? What, what is the right one? You pick the right women, one? but you don't have a woman who's called you? To 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 just you know find out about you or to do something for you? No 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 no. Oh. You just changed it. No. <laughs> yep. Yep. Calling me to find out about me is more of her yammering. Okay. If I talk to you this morning, then more than likely ain't much ch- changed if it's already one o'clock in the afternoon. Like I know. Right. I know. But yeah. what I said was, the last time a woman called a guy to do something for him. That wasn't already pre-planned. Like yeah. some chick just calling her dude said, "Hey, you wanted that uh that PlayStation Four, right?" And you're like, "Yeah, okay, because that's what I got you." And I what? Why? Yeah, I know. I yeah. just I knew you <laughs> but wanted again, it. How you, many guys know? allow women to even do that? What? Unless what? they're a bum. Most Why bums they do not? allow that. Oh. What are you talking Most about? Most guys are like, oh, don't get me anything. Oh, I don't. Why did you spend that money on me? Oh. What? Well, what? no, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Now, if, they ha- if they're in dire strait and they don't know how they're going to make the light payment, you know, oh, at the end of the yeah. month, and she's buying plates, yeah, then it's like, wait, yeah. no, take it back. Yeah. You got the receipt. You spend it, but yeah. if everything's cool, most chicks don't think about their guy enough to do stuff like that. They always call him. And to either run their mouth or there's something wrong and they need him to solve it or it's an issue that they feel needs to be discussed right away. Like, let me tell you about what this, this chick in the office did today. Like, oh, I don't want to hear this. You know? But just some girl out of nowhere just deciding that she's going to do something off the hook for her dude that he always wanted, that is rare. Rare. It's about yeah. as rare as a dude not pushing for sex when he first meets a chick. <laughs> yeah, that's rare. So that's that's to let you know how rare it is. Yeah, that's I guess like I, a dude uh, saying, telling tell, telling a hot chick, no, you know, I'd like to take this time to get to know you first. We, we, there's plenty of time for that later. That's rare. <laughs> I guess I got to go to my okay. New Year's residence well, to find a woman like, like that. Like I said, Call y'all are just around the wrong girl. women. Well, so, Kai, you, you really it. think there are scores of women out there that would just do this? You really, that's what you think? Oof, that's rare. I don't think scores, but I don't think it's as rare as y'all are saying. <laughs> okay, okay, put it this way. Kai, are you that kind let's of woman? Ask, let's ask Char. <laughs> let's ask Char when she comes up. <laughs> oh, God. Of course, she's going to lie through her <laughs> teeth, but. <laughs> of course. <laughs> let's ask her anyway. <laughs> Yeah, that's my. Um, BJ said he's issue. never had that. Logic, have you had that? I've I never had that. I'm, 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 uh, I, I can mm, tell you right I ain't never had that. I wish. Me. New Year's resolution. I, I look for one. <laughs> you know what? I, there was one. Really? There was wow. one. How old was you? <laughs> in your prom. <laughs> In the late twenties at the time, yeah. See, see, yeah. See? 
Yeah, late twenties at the time. It took Why you, you it that? took you almost that's thirty question. years to find that girl. Well, I mean, to be honest with you, I wasn't looking, you know what I mean? She just happened to be that way. But I'm going to tell you, it it wasn't – she just really – she just literally happened to be that way just through the different experiences she's had in life. It's not like she she was like one of these people like, I'm going to be different than, you know. No, she just happened to be that type of way. Isn't that the same? Oh, wait. Whoa, wait, I don't get it. You said mm. she just happened to be like that through the different experiences in life, not that she decided to be different. But, I mean, isn't that the same thing? No, because men are taught we have to take care of the women in our family or our oh, life. Yeah. You know, we're yeah. taught to be the providers or whatever. <laughs> Nobody teaches their daughters. First of all, you're going to take responsibility for your actions. And second, when you're in a relationship, you, you better learn how to communicate with your partner or else everything is going to, you know, like happening. And third, you make sure that you pull your own weight economically. Who teaches their daughters <laughs> to be that way? That's like almost unheard of. Every chick I've ever come across has got problems that go all the way back to her childhood or the first yep. dude that she was ever, who, yep. who God knows what. And then all of them were bums, pretty much. Well, I don't want to say bums, but they either lack economical common sense or they're very immature to where they conduct themselves like children, where they think they could just do stuff, like they just want to have fun all the time and then spend money and have fun. But the other stuff in life is going to, fall in the place that so you you get stuck in that teaching mode like no 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 you can't go out to the club on a Wednesday you got to work tomorrow you know you got to stay home and make sure you get those bill paid you know that a lot of young girls suffer with that and then usually chicks start getting it together when either a they have a kid and life gets real or they've had a hard road to travel and they have a lot of baggage, and they just had to learn how to deal with their own issues. Or three, they start getting older, which, you know, at that point, it depends on how long it takes them to get out of that immature. Because I know a lot of girls that are in their 40s that are still in their 20s in their mind. Like they're just young and stupid in their head. Ooh, that's not that's and I, I, I think I, I know somebody like that too. It's just, oh my! You can't, you can't talk to. Uh, them. I know, I know like, somebody like that. Uh, you know, we, I, I usually like, hear like, her. I, instance, I usually only speak with instance, her on Thursdays. I don't, I don't know what happened today. I haven't heard from her yet. For instance, I definitely know somebody at, like that. Look at Wendy Williams. She has a show, and she, uh, I guess, you know, she has success. Yes, yeah. you know, she has success. But her whole premise. It's talking about people's shoes and you know what what, gotcha, what shirt gotcha. they wore to come to her to her show to you know plug a book or whatever. Like it's so juvenile, but yeah. and she, and she made that's yeah. that's where she's at, you yeah. know. That gotcha. I mean, but <laughs> seems like a lot of people like that. It is that's because I problem. guess I guess I guess according yeah. I guess according to. Your logic is because a lot of people, a lot of women are still in that mindset? Well, I mean, when they're older like that, then more than likely what's happened is that they've had it too easy all through their life. So they either had their mother or their father paying their bills or they inherited a house or something from their grandparents. And, like, they've never had to get serious about life. Like, nobody's ever held their feet to the fire. You know, right. and even even sometimes, even when they have kids, depending on where they're at and their their mentality, that kid change. can get pushed off to the grandparent, and they could still mm-hmm. go out and party yeah. and act crazy like they don't yeah. have children. Mm-hmm. You know, there's plenty of men and women in prison right now that just the kids are growing up with the grandparents, they and they don't know yeah. their real parents. They know them, yeah. but they don't. You know, they look at their grandparents oh, like, like mom and dad. Right. Yeah, mom and, dad. and um. Yeah, or or if she was very uh, physically attractive, 
then there has been a nonstop train of dudes wanting to bang her who are yeah, cushioning sure. her fall with money. You know, like, right, oh, right. your, your yeah. phone's getting cut off. I got that. And I then they'll, you, wa- yeah, yeah, while they're smashing yeah. her, they're paying her cell phone bill. Yeah. And if she's a real pro, then she's <laughs> juggling a couple of dudes where this one is paying the rent, that one is paying the cell phone, this one is paying for the Internet, and that one is paying for the car. Like, and she's pay. just, she's rocking it, you know. I just want to ask a question, though. Does this sound like you're describing anybody we know? I mean, I'll give you a hint. Oh my god. Oh my god, too sexy by far. Char, are you there? Hi, yes, yes, I'm here. I'm so sorry, guys. Hello, everyone. I'm super, super late today. What's new, I guess? I'm so sorry about that. Wait a minute, Char. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do I smell a white ruction on your breath? No, believe it or not, I work until I help my uh, fiance. It's official now, so we work together, and we we we, we, we located to a new a new building. Yeah, we, we, we located to a new building. So we're, we're, we're working until seven. Wait a minute. Sorry, guys. Sorry, late. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. You what now? You what now? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to make it official, but you know, it's yeah, we're definitely going to spend the rest of our li- our natural born lives together. And so. why wouldn't you want to make that official? Yeah. No, because I haven't even told my mother. Oh. oh so, oh, so when did it happen? Well, when did it happen? Just now? Just before you got on the air? <laughs> Not exactly. It was more like last week. But um, wow. but what I'm saying, so, but what I'm on, saying is. Well, no, but what I'm saying is this. We run a business together, and so we relocated to a larger building, and we work, we've always worked late hours, and unfortunately, I was with the customer. So, And I'm like, i got to be on the air. What am I doing? So that's why I'm late. I'm no excuse. She's going to be late for her own wedding. I know she is. I don't know. Uh, mm-hmm. But, no, I haven't had a shot of anything with anyone. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> of any, you know, you should have anyone. I don't know. That no, I haven't had a shot of anything. Far. Uh, don't cough around. Alcoholic. <laughs> I don't even drink any. Okay, you know what? I had some wine this morning come on the way to work. Yeah, there you oh go. Yeah. This is how we know and love. She said on the way to work. Damn. You said no, I had a glass morning. of, it was God. called Sweet Red. I had, it's called um, Carlos Rossi. It's like a, Listen, I don't care what it's called. You said the morning. <laughs> morning. On the way the to work. morning. On the it's way to work. It's not alcohol, just wine. Wine is, wine is alcohol. alcohol. Oh, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. Oh, Did you just say oh, it's oh, not oh, alcohol, oh, it's oh, just oh, wine? <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like it's the same. I don't feel like it's in the same category. That's Listen, like beer. I mean, beer yeah, is you, you know that's wine is basically Logic. juice. Logic. You, <laughs> you know that's about to be a shirt, right? It's not alcohol. It's just wine. <laughs> hey, yeah. take a whole bottle of wine and see how, see how good you are driving. Oh, that's bottle. a good shirt idea, Kai. It's it's it's, it's not fine. alcohol. It's, it's wine. not alcohol. It's wine. <laughs> Wow. Oh, I love it. I love it. That's a great concept. If you, I bet anything your email will be full after this after yeah. the show tonight. Oh, Kyle, what can wine. we do with that? Do you put it on back or is it on back or? We have the wine for breakfast. Oh, look, I'm going to try and get this on what? our page while I'm on the air. <laughs> that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. It's not alcohol. <laughs> it's not alcohol. It's wine. What? Oh, so, sir, we all have yeah. a question for you. Millions yeah. of listeners want to know. When was the last oh. time you called your fiance? Apparently, who I don't understand why you haven't told everybody yet. Because usually, if you if you're getting married for the first time in like 25 years, which I right. guess will technically like be the first time now, um, I would be excited to tell anybody. But you haven't told anybody. You didn't tell us last week, unless this happened after after we were on air. You haven't told your mom. It was that weekend. It was that weekend. No. Okay, it was the weekend. Did you tell yeah. your son? No. Oh, I, he, I don't understand. No. Yeah, okay, we'll go back to yeah, this question. But my question is, we'll get back to this question. But my question to you is, um, have you ever called? Have you ever had a dude in your life that you called him and asked him or said, "I did something for you"? Like, um, you wanted those those black pants from 
I don't know, whatever store, right? And he's like, yeah. And you're like, okay, I got it for you. I was just making sure that you did want it, but I have it here for you waiting. <laughs> okay. I'm so, asking you, have you, good God, have you ever okay, done that so, for like, a guy okay, you were so, with? No, no, the it. person, the, no, I'm asking, so he he has the pants. I, I didn't ask him to get them, right? He just sort of assumed. Break it down. Break it Wait, down. what? Break how did this become, a, how does this become about you? No. Break it down. He was again. looking at something oh, he wanted. And okay. you just got it without him asking for it. You, he just, he just happened oh. to pass by the store, the store, and he was like, "Oh, I like that." And then later oh. on, you just got it without him asking, without looking for anything in return from him. Right. So would I do that, or have I done that before? Is that, is that the have question? you done that before? Good God, this is getting. Mm-hmm. This question is just. Listen, getting, no. wait a minute. The question. I mean, let me, wait, 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 wait. Let me have a second. Let me have a radio second. Um. Like what? No, I'm saying, can I have a radio second to think of that answer? That's a good question. Uh, yeah, I'm, yes, I've done that. I mean, I've done that, but it, but it was, re- it was well received though. It wasn't like, ooh, excuse me, I didn't ask you to get that. You know, it wasn't like that response. But I have done that. Really? Wow. Mm. Yeah, because I feel like I'm an observant person, observant of what people like. I'm a great gift answer? giver, you too. You couldn't even so. observe this you? question. What are you talking about? Because you I just didn't follow you at no. first. I thought you were saying, if I, you know, did I something. Oh, of course. Uh, uh, you do but for no, your I, I got it now. Mm-hmm. Did you do it for your what happened? Did you did? Did you for your was it for him? Was it for him? Yeah. <laughs> no, I said, did you do it for your fiancé? Come on, woman. Did he, did he what? What? Did, did you, you ever do get a gift for your fiancé? That's what I just said. I, I did. That's what I just said. I said yes. I said yes. I did do that with, like, in that relationship. I did do something like that, but it was well received because I'm a great giver. That's what people tell me. I listen to what people like and want. Oh, I can't stand when people give me things I don't want. What? what the heck? Isn't that what you're asking, BJ? I have, I have a very oh, I forget, generous I forgot, person. I forgot what I. I, I forgot Logic. What I oh, no, BJ, Logic. You just, I'm a very you just generous said, person, and I have life. never been told that no, I'm a great so I said, um, in my you, life um, ever. Did something like that for your fiance, like that. Okay, well, well maybe you're not a great giver. Maybe in that great giver doesn't always mean what? that you're that you're tensy and hold on to things. That's that doesn't going mean on that. I mean, I'm a great no. giver. Oh, we're gonna get a lot of life for that one. <laughs> okay, I think a great giver. No, guys, you're you're missing my point. I think a great giver is someone who's considered of what you actually would probably like, or want, or have hinted or mentioned that you like or want. Christmas is coming. People that exchange gifts, I just can't stand when people give me things based on what they want me to have, not what they what they, what I would really like. What I have mentioned or said, or maybe personality wise, something that I would probably want. A lot of people value what they want you to have what they want you to have. They don't think about what you would probably want. So that's what I mean by a great giver. I'm very sensitive to what people, people not just their needs, but things that they say that they want throughout the year. Does that make sense at all to anyone? Yeah. Or am I yeah. on this island by myself? I, 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 I understand you. what you're saying. But I got you, yeah, I got you. I, I just know I that the you. things that, that guys tend to like, women don't typically care about. You know, sports. I mean, they're getting into sports now because it's like a, a fad. You know, but I don't, I don't think women really care. Oh. Tips. I mean, there's some. Don't get me wrong. I mean, as I always say, there's no. You know, I'm not saying every anything is absolute. There's going to be exceptions to the rule, but for the most part, I think a lot of chicks watch sports to spend time with their dudes. It's not really about the team. It doesn't have to be. Um. What else the dudes into what? Uh, you know, fights, uh, yeah, video games, it. comic books, and stuff like that. You know, I got into an argument with somebody because I I was annoyed that they kept saying about Wonder Woman. I was like, only a woman could direct this movie, and blah blah blah. It's like, girls didn't make Wonder Woman popular. Dudes, it was guys <laughs> yeah. reading those comic mm-hmm. books. You know, yeah. and this director. Mm-hmm wasn't a fan of the comic book. So why would it only be that a woman could now, if a dude ever said anything like that, like only a guy could make a movie, a straight man can make a movie about the Hulk. You know how laced that person would be? 
in public yep. and seeing they were like, oh, how, well, how insensitive that he even insinuates that. Blah, blah, blah. But these women be saying crazy stuff like that. Like, only you want something done, get a woman, because men are going to shut up. <laughs> okay. Um. But let's let's get to these um sure. let's get to these closeted uh, gold diggers yeah, no, 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 that no, no. say that they don't like wedding. Let's get they to don't Char. Like... Let's get to Char and her lackluster response to getting engaged. What the hell is up with that? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Lack luster. No, if you guys don't understand, like, I just have been keeping this under wraps. I haven't told the people that are closest to me. I don't know why in the world wow. I'm telling you guys. I really don't know. Maybe I, I'm I don't not know. Well, the I'm not is, fooled. Char yeah. has a wall in her apartment somewhere with chalk lines and uh, crosses <laughs> through it. And she'd be like, yeah. Number one bites the dust. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Oh, oh, you know what? Can I just, Magic, can, Magic, can I ask something? One time I had the nerve to say at the middle of a wedding that I crashed. I literally used to crash weddings for fun with my girlfriends. And we would just show up at people's weddings, especially the ones that were outdoors. And one time I literally stood up and said, it's not too late to turn back. You know when they say, what? is there anyone here, yeah. anyone here yeah. that uh, gives death yeah. calls? Yeah. Whatever they say, yeah. whatever that speech is, yeah. I sure did. Yeah. I said, it's not too late to turn back. Then I had the uh, nerve to help myself at the reception. And you know how they'll say, well, who do you know? Oh, I know Uncle Uncle Jojo or Uncle, uh, well, it depends on the culture of the wedding because it could be all wow. different. Like, if you pass a wedding, you don't think about that. But yeah. um, at a black people wedding, everybody has and Uncle Sm- Smitty or, or, you know, Jethro or not Jethro, just something. Jethro. Some kind of old uncle, the old rusty uncles that everybody knows, or the rusty somebody's uncle. cousin's sister's aunt. You just make up somebody's name. Aunt Bertha. Ooh. Aunt Bertha's, I'm Aunt Bertha's niece. Oh, Aunt yeah, how you doing? Girl, you look good. I've seen you since you were a little kid. Just hugging and squeezing the cheeks. Oh, yeah, okay. Now, so, where uh, is the champagne and where's the cake? So That's what I'm thinking. And the day. caviar. What is that? Yeah, I said the date. Yeah, I said the date. Or just one of those long engagements, twenty, thirty years engagement. Long one, a long one, because we don't know where we want to live. That's the problem. We have not left this freaking city. We were supposed to relocate to, to Texas, as you all know, and we decided not to. With all these shootings and natural disasters in Texas, ever since we first spoke of relocating, now we really don't know where to go. We, they could have martial law by the time we get there. Is this John. the first time it's that you heard about hurricanes in Texas? It was shootings. <laughs> it seems like it's worse than ever. Even no, I even natural said, disasters. I thought she said shooting logic. Shooting. 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 Yeah, the shooting. shooting everywhere. The shooting this is everywhere. the first time you heard about shootings in Texas. No, no, but it just seems like things have escalated. I mean, a martial law is coming, everyone, so look out. And it's going to come to your city. I just don't want to live somewhere, neither one of us do, where we have to go up, run up into the mountains with our, our machete or with our, our, our AK-47, which he does own, no, actually, and, you know, and run for cover and live in a cave somewhere up in the mountains. I don't know. We just don't know where to live. In mountains in Texas? No, I just mean I mean various places. I'm just saying very, Texas don't Texas doesn't have mountains, but various places. That's, 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 where do you go? We just didn't know about it. No, this is important. You guys don't understand. Our world is coming to an end. If it's if it's, it it's going to be martial law, it's going to be martial law anywhere. It doesn't matter where you go in this country. You know, if you if you look at YouTube, Texas is going to be one of the first states targeted because. Uh, uh, really? Well, see, okay, there's a new world order a coming. It's a coming, whether oh, you like it or not. God. Oh, and, my God. Yes. They yes. And I've been <laughs> supporting all of this. They off YouTube. <laughs> yeah, <I'm sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> they off YouTube. <laughs> you know what's funny? I, I, You know, I really wish I, <laughs> I had a good idea about who this guy was. Because he's probably somewhere talking about, yeah, you know, we need to invest in, yeah, yeah, whatever. Let me tell you about Jade Helm. They are taking old Walmart and turning them into base camps where they're going to lock us up. Yeah. Yeah. This is real serious. I mean, you guys can can laugh if you want, but when the NWO hits, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? There was martial law in Puerto Rico. You guys didn't even know there's martial law in Puerto Rico. There was well, there was you, all, there was people behind the scenes who had to fight or flight with their guns 
and or or just or literally just oh it did, did wait whoa whoa did you hear about the floating prisons? Did you guys hear about that? At, at the end of at the end of that whole hurricane and uh, no actually it was in Puerto Rico that but also in Texas after their big storm. There's a lot of things going on behind the scenes that you got to keep up with these things. You got to keep up. You don't want to be lost. You got to keep up. We are behind, y'all. We don't want to be lost, people. I got to get back on YouTube. Stay stay with me now. Stay with me, no conduct and no conduct listeners worldwide. I I don't know. By the way, thank you for listening. What was it? Three weeks ago, I was trying to get off the the, the train. I'm still trying to get off right now. So. Yeah, so it's really, it's really scary. It's the, like the time period that we're living in, honest to God, if I could have chose to be sure. in a different mm-hmm. time, I would not be uh, living right now in this time period. Sure. Let, let, me, let 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 me, The government has never had its best interest in mind. They are always going to do what works for them, okay? So wherever you move, <laughs> you, you're still going to be at the behest. Of, of this government and what they're going to allow you to do and have. You, is, there's no escaping. It doesn't matter where you go. So unless you and whoever this guy is plan to move to some undeveloped area of, of <laughs> you know, Costa Rica or something and start plowing out your own roads and airstrips and start fresh, you, there's no escaping it. It is what it is. Tool yep. up. And make sure you go to the range yeah. and practice. Do love, yeah. Do love. Give it, give don't buy, it, give don't waste your it. time with the with collecting seeds or whatever because you you know as Bill Burr said, you're only collecting stuff for the guy with the biggest guns when the hammer comes yeah. down. Take, 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 take from okay, me, but yeah. have you guys thought of this though? So, I mean, for example, if anything, we're thinking about what if, maybe we should live in Canada in the in the uh, future because at least at least at least there's wildlife. At you least think there's, there's a difference? In, at least, well, yeah, because you can, you can get lost up in those woods a lot easier. It's, Texas is a barren, flat, open land. Montana. It's still Montana's perfect, actually. Montana's perfect because it's near Canada. Well, no, it's not. Montana it, it and Canada really are, is, are really a consideration. Really is not perfect at all. No. Well, it's a consideration. Yeah, it's, hmm? It's a consideration because the, because it offers more natural resources. I mean, you could there's, there's there's animals, there there's lakes and streams. Char. There's so trees where we can hide. Per what you, listen, per what you describe about yourself, you're an ex-model who works in Vegas. You're not ready for the end of the world. It's a done deal. Okay? You should have <laughs> been getting, getting ready. I'm getting out of Vegas. 20, That's the no, whole point. No, no, no. You should have been getting ready 20 years ago. If you just realizing this now, it's a wrap for you. You're done. Okay? So you might as well get a good craft going so when the armies do come, you can say, hey, I know how to make light bulbs. And they say, all right, well, you know. Logic, that makes no sense because 20 years ago, I was, okay, 20 years ago, I was still, actually three years ago, I was still shooting and signing autographs. So that doesn't make any difference. What difference does that make? My career was still going. I'm the one who stopped my career. I was like, what are we talking about? No, but I'm saying three years, and then 20 years ago, none of this was happening like it is right now. Wait a minute. Uh, That's my point. It was always happening. It always happened. No, not as intense as it is now. I mean, look at look at our president. Look at what's happening to our world. They're over there playing with with missiles like they're toys. Okay. I'm not trying to get too deep, but I just want to point something out to you. Uh, Kennedy was the president in what the late fifties, early sixties. Right? Sixty. Something yeah. around there? Sixty. Okay. Yeah. Um, they they just released a lot of the top secret papers. He found out the Bay of Pigs was their idea to in order to start some war. It was a false flag attack where they were gonna, you know, uh actually they did it, but they would the rest of the plan was they were gonna hijack planes and crash them and say that Cubans did it so we could go to war with Cuba. This is documented proof already. Bay of Pigs happened, but this was the second half that they didn't do. When Kennedy died, there's a picture of LBJ getting sworn in, and then he looks to his left, and there's a guy winking at him right after the president got killed. You know? Wow. There's there's been a lot of creepy stuff going on for years. Trump is the most transparent of all of them. Because he's an idiot, and he just says whatever comes in his head, and he's not duplicitous at all. So for you to 
look at things now and say, uh-oh, you're late. You are so late. You're, it's a done deal. You're talking about floating prisons. CIAs have had always had black sites all over the world where this corpus doesn't exist because we're not technically on American soil. That's been happening for years. That's nothing new. That's nothing new at all. No, 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 no. Logic, logic. That's not true. Floating prisons. No, the floating prisons that I'm referring to, I believe the people that are on on those ships are being used for test subjects, and I believe that some of them will be used um, as as duplicates or as um, what. No, I do. Listen, you guys don't understand what's happening. There's a lot. That's what I'm saying. If you don't know, then you better ask somebody. Don't assume you know it all just because you knew something 20 years ago. No, clone. Cloning is real. Cloning is real. Cloning is real. DNA DNA extraction. We got it. But duplicates for who, Sean? Cloning is real. DNA I extraction under, means you get rid of the person that's you, originally you there. I'm no, no, you, you get rid of the question. person that's originally there. You can do whatever you want to do with the clone. Ooh. You can have them do whatever Ooh. you want them to be. And who would know the difference? Who okay, would know the difference? Well, okay. one this thing, is, this I'll put question. it this way. This when there's question. a natural disaster and you show up missing, don't think that person just is missing. But a lot of times they were taken onto these ships and you never see them again. That is okay, not so the so same so thing. Let me say this. Let me say this. What sense would it make for any covert clandestine group to clone an average idiot and then just reinsert the clone back into society to do what? They would do what? The same thing? They would do what? Yeah. What's the purpose? DNA extraction. extraction. They can get rid of the people that they've... Hold on. The the people that they I don't know if you call it kidnapping or whatever but oh, the people God. that the people that are on the ship okay first of all they're test subjects that's the first idea for okay. many different reasons okay. like think of lab rats there's a lot of advantages uh, and then eventually it'll be extermination and it'll be a whole new a whole new race of people who are really just robots okay. robots so now here's my question <laughs> yeah. why, why do you think why, why do you think they're so why do you think that what do you okay, think wait, robotic wait, wait, technology wait, wait. is so important here's right now even Siri right. is a robot and Lexus follow, is a robot my follow up question is why wouldn't they just kill the person and just leave the cloning out of it if they want to reduce the number yeah. of people to the point where they want to replace them with robots. Why don't you just kill everybody yeah. just from the jump? Why waste the time cloning and try yeah. to reinsert them and then watch if it takes a night? Because a clone them. is a perfect, it is a perfect robot of what, exactly what you want it to do. Uh, that's why it's called a clone. A clone is a mechanical, it, it's just a, you know what it is? It's just a computer. It's a computer, okay, and there's a lot of power in that anyway, so we already know that. You know, if you guys, listen, if you want to learn more, then look it up for yourself. Look it up for yourself. Do your own report and get back to me, and I'll be the one to I'll be the one to quiz you at that point, and you're probably all going to flunk that particular course. I well, promise look, I'll, 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 I'll leave off, I'll leave off saying this. Um, there are some things that are... Uh, conspiracies that have happened possibly still are happening um, but the the major thing that you have to ask yourself when you're considering someone's conspiracy theory is w- what would they gain so let's say right, right. Uh, the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers and the DuPonts and all of these do, you know trillionaire families are in the loop if everybody gets turned into robots, like how does that enrich their yeah. life to make it? It doesn't. You know, it's the same thing with people saying chemtrails are real. Like, okay, so the government's spreading chemicals all over the place for in the air to kill the people or give them cancer. This is their theory. But rich people live everywhere too, and they breathe the same air that we do. So there's a chance. That they could start dying. Like so, is you got to ask yourself, what, why? What would be the point? There would but be no they point. counter it by saying that aren't rich people supposedly given the uh, what do you call it? The, 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 the drugs so they yeah. don't get. It. Yeah, the antidote. Yeah, right. Oh well, okay. Well, then if you're saying that there is a vaccine to all cancers, then I don't. There's no argument I can do with that one. Those are questions that you got to ask. You know. Um, 
I remember somebody brought up something about 9-11, and it's like, if you don't realize that people make trillions of dollars off a of war, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. If you, if you can't get that, there's no point in having the conversation. So, yeah. But uh, robots, that's a new one on me. Never heard of it, I think that's a new one on quite a few people. I, I, well, how okay. long have you thought okay. like that? Like I said, it, you know, if you don't know, then 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 find out because if, it doesn't mean it's so not you, true. I, I respect your gangster though, because you would be the last person that I would have ever thought would be into, like you know, uh, government conspiracies. That I would have yeah. never guessed that. Okay. So, that you, right. so all that. Well, actually, that is because I, there's a lot more to me that needs to be done. Well, sure. All that you're thinking about is on your mind. That that's the reason why you you guys are not going to uh, get married too, too so soon. <laughs> and, what, and what do we think about that? Sir, you guys, I uh, I really just didn't think anything. It went right past me. So sorry. What? Literally, what? I'm, I'm, I got a question. Like, he said, I heard like all the things that you just said. Different. Is that the reason why you're not getting married yet? Oh well, well no, not because of the floating prisons. I, I I'm not in the midst of a natural disaster where that I would be subject to that. At least not at this time in Vegas, probably won't happen. But no, um, yeah, the one of the reasons. No, that's not why we're not make, having the ceremony. We want to know where we're going to settle, where you know where we'll be in the future. We, because obviously we want our but family or friends to be a part of. What does you're getting married? Okay, you don't know where you're going to be yet. I just so. because. Because our friends and family, we want them to be a part of it. So we want to make sure it's either a central location or something that's easy for everyone else to be a part of. If not, then oh well, we, we're trying to do that. But we also want to settle. We want, we want to retire at some point. And we know it's not going to be in Nevada. So we're just contemplating. Everything was great until a lot of these other things start happening with uh, just, you know, uh, a lot of the political things that were happening in our country really did concern so, us because we follow because we follow a lot of the conspiracy theories to it to the T. And I mean, so, I've been educating myself for about 15 years about a lot of different things, but that's so, one reason that we we basically just ruled out Texas. Do you see what I mean? So is, once that happened, it's like, well, where do we go now? What I'm mm-hmm. what, I'm, what I'm hearing, what I'm getting is that the bottom line is, for you guys not getting married, it's because it's because of fear. That's all I'm. That's all I'm getting. No, 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 not at all. Right. Not at all. We, yeah, we've waited yeah, for this moment for. We've known each other for 15 no, years. Not fear, waited for no, no, not fear between y'all. Just fear of everything going on in the world. That is that, that, that's 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 what I'm talking about. Y'all too. That's fear. It's well, fear. it's more I, like the fear of will we make the right decision of where we want to relocate. Right. We're not gonna that's we're not gonna ponder on this forever. Don't get me wrong. It's not going to interrupt our immediate uh-huh. future at all. It's you know. Not going you know what you should ponder, Shar. Uh-huh. What those couple of years that he wasn't around, he might have been cloned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, see, see, there you go. There you go. Actually, you know what logic? You're right because I said that the other day. I said, "Who are you? Who are you really? Yeah. How do I know? Think about it. Think about how it. How do I know you're not a clone time, of him? All this like, time, I mean, he's been like, "Nah, I don't want to be in a relationship." Then he comes back and baby, I'm back. Uh-huh. And what's up? Actually, he never. Well. Actually, he never said he didn't want to be in a relationship. I wasn't available, and when I went, and then when he, when I first met him, and he wasn't the available. Story changes again. <laughs> he wasn't available because he was married for five years past that. He I was think married Char was child, uh, She was cloned. I think that's she what was happened. Cloned. I think yeah. Was cloned. <laughs> well, you know what? If I was, he would never find out. He'll never know. Okay. That too, but we don't know the maybe I'm a better version. Anybody, I'm not. No, maybe I'm a better version than I was when he first met me 15 years ago. How do we know I'm not? You never know. You could be the clone of the clone because the first yeah. one didn't work right. Yeah, you could be that Jason Bourne. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. I malfunction. Is that what happened? Jason Bourne. <laughs> my battery oh, needs to be Jason Bourne. Sure. Well, I'm sure he'd rather oh, have a younger oh, version of my clone, but, Char, you know, it is what I it almost is. forgot, Char. Um, one of our listeners, uh, they want you to post a picture of your ring because they said they don't believe you. Oh, I don't care oh, if you yeah. don't believe me. Oh, we do if I wanted to post a picture of the ring, which I find to be extremely, extremely personal at this moment, then oh. I would have done so. I have what? access to our website. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Oh, yeah. what? I'm not one of those wait, people that go on Facebook or our social media what? and brag about something like that. What? I just don't. No, what? I've never been that way. So, some things are, are just for fam- immediate family. 
Or, or, or you know, maybe friends, most friends. Okay. Sorry, okay. listener, but I'll certainly give you the juicy details of the, the yacht and, and how, how lovely, uh, you know, the guests were and, and the location and, and the mm-hmm. entertainment and my gown and all of that. Yes, I'll, I'll certainly give you the after, the after show mm-hmm. details. Charles, you know, Charles know, yeah. But but incidentally, know, all the no contact family would be would receive an invitation if because if I happen to be in Philly, oh, I can have two. Go. I, 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 so you have my logic. You definitely gotta go. I don't know if you I'm going, go. BJ, because this could be a conspiracy in itself from the government to get us there to then clone it. Yeah, we gotta go crash, know, it, we go crash it. You go crash it. You go crash it. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think That's I'm gonna sit right here in Philly. <laughs> so, well, you know what? Uh, all I can tell you is my I, I what I can say is the ring is very, very, very expensive. And he asked me, please do not pawn this if it doesn't work out for some reason. Don't do that. He's from my heart and heart, my heart and hard work. And he just feels like you know he's not going to ask for it back, but like just don't I mean, don't pawn it. But I wouldn't do that. I know a lot of kids do why that. Why would you say I mean, Why would you say that? But you wouldn't like tell your family it. or show us the ring. But you would tell us that yeah. the ring is expensive. What does that have to do? with Because the price you guys should have known that anyway. That's a no brainer. If you know me, then you should have known that anyway. I don't know no me. man is going to fall short I, I, with me with well, certain things I mean, because I feel like I'm worth it. you that well because we sure didn't think you thought about cloning, and we yeah. thought you would have posted your ring on social media. There's so many. Isn't that exciting? There's so many interesting sides to charm. How many carries, y'all? What was that, BJ? Damn. How, How many, many carries? Oh, gee, yeah. How many carries? I'm not right. giving you that much information. I can tell you what it costs. Hold on, hold on. You can tell us it's expensive. I can tell you this. I can't tell you this. I can tell you this. It's a Tiffany setting. <laughs> How many carries? I can tell you that. Just, oh, my just God. Okay. Just All right. Yeah. All in due time, people. All in due time. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe I will I post it. it. Maybe I just will post oh, it. Oh, how I, droll. I I maybe I will. Not <laughs> now, but maybe I will. Uh, oh, now it's just over now. The Tiffany setting uh, in, in itself, you no, have to have a certain, a, a certain really amount of clusters that sit on top of it. I don't know about Tiffany setting. BJ, you care? Yeah. I don't, I don't really I'm sorry, BJ. I don't, I don't care. BJ is okay. our Mr. Swass, our Mr. Swass, Sophisticationo. Okay. I'm really shocked if, you you don't, if you're not familiar yeah, with I, the, the Tiffany I'm not giving out Tiffany diamonds. No settings. <laughs> you're not? Anyway, we're there right now. Okay, so, anyways. Let's get away from that story. Yeah. Let's talk about the real story here. Yeah. So, Char, Char, would you marry your dude if he gave you the ring, right? He had a ceremony in front of your friends and family. Y'all are still going to be living in the house together. He leaves everything in his will to you. Y'all have kids together. So you, in every sense, of, you can change your last name, everything. In every sense of the word, you're married. However, he just doesn't want to sign a marriage certificate. No, because for religious reasons, I, I, I want to be married. I know what I want. And if that person doesn't you, but he have had, the okay, same... He had a religious but, ceremony. He had a religious ceremony. So you were married well, in front... Uh, you were married in front of your religion or whatever, but he just doesn't want to get the government involved, so he doesn't want to sign the marriage certificate. Then I'm not his wife. That was just some ceremony. I mean, that's not even an official ceremony. It was just a, I don't even know, what is that considered in front of your family? So and how, does, how does well, the well, government the part involved? Involved? No, 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 no. Well, you you should have let her finish that statement. She said, what does that mean? to have a ceremony in front of your friends and family. <laughs> Good God. Wow. I no, know I'm saying, that. Oh no, I'm God. saying. No, I'm saying. No, I heard it because no, you were choking I said, right now. <laughs> no, I said, what is the point of doing that? And, and to put the word religious in it, it's not that. It's just you in front of your friends and family, just having them as a witness to say, we want to spend the rest of our lives together. That's not the same thing as making a commitment before my creator. That to me is very important. And that what? also is part of making it official with the government. It's I not the same thing that just verbally say it in uh, front of, you know, I mean, no, it's not the same thing. I would do, I want to do it the right way. I would I want to be that person's legal life. How, I don't understand how 
signing a paper for the government, which is something that just recently started ha- started happening, has anything to do with religion? This is just for the government to know that, hey, this is how you tax me. Yep. I don't what? understand how in it your head that happening. has anything to what? do with religion. What do, you, what do you mean it just started happening? Like, was something that just started happening? Back in what the day, that? you got married in the church, and that was it. You didn't sign any marriage certificate. The government didn't need to know you were married and all that stuff. This is something new. Yeah, usually the, there, the only way the government found out. You, there had to be someone else officially that documents the, the ceremony itself, and they have it. it it's, I mean, it's not just a matter yeah, of, you Yeah, you have know, a bunch of freaking... A, a freaking um. What do you want? What do I want to say? You have a bunch of witnesses. witnesses. You got married in front of whatever religion. I'm pretty sure they document that. The only difference is you didn't let the government know you were married. I mean, I don't care what the, what the government knows. It's just the fact that I would want to take that person's last name and completely be a part of he, an extension he, he of them you in can every manner. Your last name. No, but I would want to. Be, I would want to be a complete part of that extension of that person in every manner, not just halfway. I just feel like that's halfway. He gave you, you can't do it all the way. What's the the point? Money to you. Because Y'all I'm still living you with you. No, I'm still living with you in sin. I'm still you living with you in sin, and I don't. I don't choose How to do that for very long. How are you living with him in sin if you got married religiously? <laughs> because it's not even really completely official. It's only official halfway. That's not. That's not even right. You want that but Shar, no. Shar, Shar, that's like you saying that when Jewish people get driver's license, it's the government understands they're not going to be using their cars during the Sabbath. Like the government doesn't care what your beliefs are. It's just we need to know if you're going to have a license to do X, Y, and Z. It, religion has no, no bearing whatsoever on them requiring you to pay taxes or, you know, you getting married or you getting a, a license to carry a gun, or whatever, a hunting license. Like, it's not at all about religious beliefs. It's about tax bracket changes and census information. And as she was saying, way back in the early 1900s, that's the only way they found out people was married. It was, it was when a census guy came along and said, well, oh, is this your wife? And I what's her name? It's documented blah, blah. officially. It's still officially documented. So then that's but the same. But, so, so, but she said that it wasn't. Yes, it was at some point, even in the 17th so century. Married, they still documented but they, it. But they still got married. Those people still got married according to their beliefs. That didn't stop people from getting married. No, you but yes, they, they, they still made it an official document, even with the census. It was written down and recorded. These people are husband and wife. They're not just shacking up. They're not just official girlfriend and boyfriend. Official to who? My the husband, government? My yeah. wife. Oh, well, if, if a man, you know what I can't stand is when a man calls you a wifey and you know darn well you're not his wife. There, okay, you're, just you're, all right, now, now you're going in a social area, right. but we're, we're, right. we're heading back to with the government. The government doesn't care if you're banging somebody and you're living together. <laughs> they don't care. Okay, so you saying that, oh, you're just shacking up and it's not official. Official to who? The government? They don't care. It's, it's about, again, tax information. That's all it's about. So if some dude said he loves you, he got you a ring, he invited your family, his family, y'all both got married according to whatever your beliefs are, um, he put you in his will, he got a life insurance policy in which you're the benefactor, he signed his, he signed his property for you to get it in the, in the event of his death, all of these things that make it official, if you have kids, Obviously, he's going to sign the birth certificates and say he's the father. Your beef is what? Because the government doesn't know this information? Well, you know what? If if my family didn't know the difference, probably it wouldn't matter to me if they just assumed that why, I was married. But why would it matter if your family knew? If you are with this dude and you love him and he loves you, but he just has a thing where he's like, I don't, I'm not dealing with the government. I'm not doing it. Okay. No, no, I understand why, that logic. That's so not what I said. I said if my family. family no, I just said if my family believed, if they knew or believed that we were married and they didn't know the difference that we weren't technically married, but in front of the eyes of our God or whoever and all of our witnesses, if they don't know the difference, it probably maybe it wouldn't matter so much. But I just, I, but in front of my mother and people that are that close to me, I would want to believe, or at least they believe, that we actually, you know, are married. I wouldn't want well, to just that's have that's some the ceremony. Whole, that's the whole point of the question. Why is it yeah. considered not a marriage? Yeah, not a marriage. 
No, that's what I just said. I mean, if they want to, if they believe the ceremony li- links to the fact that this is my husband, then fine. Even though, even though technically he's not in, in the eyes of the government. Oh well. Tech, if, it, okay, if it appears that way, that's fine. That's good enough. You keep you keep saying technically he's not. According to who? According to if it appeared as if and the, during the ceremony that at the end of the ceremony if it appears to everyone else that that's my husband and this this ceremony made it official then fine I can go home and be fine with that okay and I don't it wouldn't matter so you care so about much what about everybody else government. thinks then no no because I I just told you for spiritual and religious reasons I just don't feel good about living with someone who's not my husband only for a very temporary time that's not. That's just the way that I was raised, and I'm not going to change my well, belief. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so in that who, case, because of who my mother is, because of who my mother is, I, I Char, do wait. have a certain amount of, amount of responsibility mom, to protect her, her interests, and her reputation as now, well. Right? Does your hmm, mom know you with this dude now? Absolutely. We're going to see her for Thanksgiving. We're gonna okay. Ask, so what are you talking about? You're not married. So you're. I just told you. I just told you for a certain amount of time, I would not extend shacking up for a, a specific amount of time because I know okay, so that I won't be okay with that. You're telling me that your mother, you're telling me that your mother is okay with you having adultery for a little bit of the time, but it wants no, you to no, no, she's here. not. Actually, no. To be honest with you, no. To be honest with you, we just have look. To be honest, no, she absolutely is not okay with that. No. And what are you, no, what are you talking about? So that's why I just said to then? you. That's what I just said to you. If we had the ceremony and my mother didn't know the difference and she just assumed that when we had the ceremony and some religious connotations were spoken or whatever, that we're married, if she didn't know the difference, that'll be fine with me. I don't care if the government is in, involved at that point as long as I know in my heart to believe that I did it in front of my creator and that I'm not just living with this person as a if, um, we, I mean, some people, you know, but some people have their own – friendship ceremonies or whatever they want to call it and life partner ceremonies. And in their mind, they believe that that is their life partner. And they tell their friends and family they're married, even though they're not technically married. They're not married on paper. I mean, to be more specific, you know, people that choose to marry gay do the, do exactly that. Well, actually, no, because now they can get married. So never mind. There goes that. No, gays can technically get married. They can they can specifically get married now. They, it's not just a ceremony. Well, one of our listeners says you're talking in circles and you're in business with your guy now and you're not married. So, no ring shacking you don't up. Have having to be married. You don't have to be married to be in business with someone. We worked together years ago. He built the business that we both talked about, and he asked I, me I to help him run it. And I'm a part of it. That just like he tells me every far- day. Like he tells me every day, this is my business, not just his. And so it's, I don't have to be married to him at this moment to help him to, you know, to be a part of this business every day. I have a vested interest because I love him, and that's why I'm here, to, to be a part of it. That's, that's here nor there. But will I, will I continue to be with someone who I'm not their wife for a certain amount of time, past whatever amount of time? No, I wouldn't because I have my own, my own beliefs and my own type of integrity that I have to adhere to. I don't, it doesn't matter to me with that. If that person doesn't agree with that, that's okay. You're just not the guy for me. And I'm not going to put pressure on them because he, he, he asked me, it wasn't like I said, will you marry me? He want, he said, this is what I want to do. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I made that decision. He made that decision years ago, but he didn't have the opportunity. It really wasn't there. So, you know, it'll happen okay, and it'll happen in the right time. All right, Shar, don't you think that it would be odd or, or I would say somebody will find it odd for you to say what you're saying about you wouldn't want your mother, as long as she's under the impression that, you know, you're married according to the state. You know, I wouldn't be with somebody for a prolonged period of time if it wasn't like this because I have my beliefs. But you're coming out of a sugar daddy and a sugar baby relationship. You know, like that doesn't... That's not the same yeah, person. Yeah, that's why it's called my past. That is exactly why it's called my past. And even when I did that, do you think that that was okay? No, it wasn't. He asked me to marry him early into that whole relationship, and that was a real boyfriend. We had a complete life together. Um, his family, my family, completely intertwined. It wasn't uh, – I, I don't know. Yeah, sorry, you guys. I had somebody come in. Um, yeah, so we were we complete – our lives were – We. It, he wasn't just a sugar – he wasn't just a sugar daddy. He was – 
he was he was a complete well rounded relationship. The only difference was that he was gone a lot because he traveled a lot. So he lived in Afghanistan for two years while I stayed in the condo. You know, and he you was a traveling not to electrician. Marry him for what reason? He was he wasn't right for me. He just wasn't right for me. I felt like he was mean, very giving, as you guys know that, but like just not right for me. Very immature and just an angry person, just angry too quickly. And it just wasn't, that's not who I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. And I should have got out years ago, but because he was gone most of the time, I just took advantage of that. I should have left, but I, it was, I was lazy and got complacent. I mean, think about it. I had everything I wanted and I didn't have to deal with him except sometimes because he was gone so much. It's wrong, but that's what I did. Well, that is not yeah. at all how you explained it before. But I'm no, I, no that, I've, I'm never, gonna, I've never oh, said anything different. I've never said anything different. I've never said anything different. I've never said anything different. I've always said he was I, I've always said he was a boyfriend. I've always said he's asked me to marry him. Two weeks you into the relationship, it, two years it, into it, I haven't changed anything. You have to clean the wax out of your ears because you're not hearing very well. I know oh exactly what I said. That was a 10-year yeah, relationship. It was a 10-year relationship, and that's ten what years. it was. It was an Damn. actual relationship. It was 10 years. When I moved so, into the condo, when I met him, it was in 2008. Excuse me. What was, he was that? Mean to, he was mean. He was still 10 years. 10 years, but you guys, once again, it felt like it was different. And so if a person is not there and like they don't live been, there like half the time, must, then it was no, like, must, I mean, it was he crazy. He was gone half the he time. He must have been banking you up. He was. Thank he you. Was. Was. Okay, that's, 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 that's I, I, but I never, but I never denied right. that. I said when I met All him, right. he was a sugar daddy. Well, imagine me meeting someone All and right. that's how they introduced themselves to me. Oh, I'm a sugar daddy. Okay. Sugar daddies don't generally become boyfriends. They don't generally become boyfriends. They don't generally become relationships. They don't. Usually it's NSA, no strings attached. But he quickly started to like me a whole lot to where it was saturation. The next thing you know, he wanted me to move in with him. And I, so that's what happened. No, not, not, not at first. Not, not right away. No, I didn't. In fact, he pursued me, and I, was, I, I ignored his calls for about four months. He called and left message after message. How come you won't return my calls? Because I don't like you. That's what I said. Because it was mean. Yeah, he had plenty of money, but it was mean. I don't want to be around people who don't make me happy, like make me smile, make me laugh. I don't, be, I don't like negative, intentionally negative people. But I, I just went with the flow of it because, like I said, he wasn't there a lot. So it made it easier. That was my fault. Who, who on okay. this panel likes negative people? Who? But I stuck around because, yes, I was being spoiled. It was fun. It was an easy life. I was already making a lot of money anyway. I didn't even need his help. But he was still, you know, giving me all everything. So I'm like, okay, fine. You don't live here, too? You're gone half the time. Now you're in Brazil. Now you're in Afghanistan for two years. And he's flying in every three months. So, to, you know, so to, to, money, you know, to visit at the condo. You. Money what? drives you. Okay. Well, okay. money should drive me. If I was making ten to fifteen thousand a month on my own before I met him, no, no, obviously I know how to. Obviously, I know how to work. I know how to work and make it. No, money but think about it. If I, but think about what I'm saying, BJ. If okay, I've always okay, made my okay. own money, right. if I've always okay. made my own money, then yes, it drives me because I know how to make it. There's a difference between not knowing how to make it and expecting someone else to give it to you. There's two different, two different things. But just because you know That's how to two make different it doesn't things. mean you should expect that somebody else to give it to you. So. But I never I did. I never did. I never did. The word expect was never in my vocabulary. People throw their money at me. I never asked them to do anything. But I wasn't even doing you have to, you, But you have to remember, but you have to remember something. I'm the one ignoring him. I ignored him. I had no interest. I just told you that. I had no – and he was very attractive. Not one that. I had no interest because I, if I don't like you, if I don't like your attitude, if you're mean, if you're negative and argumentative, then I don't have any time for it. I make my own money anyway. It's not even that serious. So that's what it was. And he was just very persistent. And I just – I Well, just, you know what? Okay, let's, let, let's, let's talk it this way. Now that Shar has found her true connection with this new guy. Perhaps it is, perhaps it is illuminating yeah. certain shortcomings with the last one that was more pronounced now. So let's just leave it alone. Let's leave it at that. And um, I wish you the best, but um, the government doesn't care if what you believe. <laughs> they just want taxes. <laughs> so 
Yeah. So uh, a listener has any, a question for you, Shar, and then I need to go on to some of these uh, comments. A listener has a question for you, Shar. Um, so if your man tells you he doesn't want to sign the certificate, you're not going to marry him? Oh, good one. Oh, wow, that's a good one. Oh, Listen, can, you please re- can you please repeat that? I'm sorry. What Why I all heard it? was you're not going to marry him. What was that? <sighs> Dude, can you pay attention to the show, please? The listener yes, because said, because I am on the phone, so it's not like I can always get a good connection. It depends on how it comes the through. The listener like the said, if your man says he's not going to sign the certificate, you're not going to marry him? Why would he say that? Oh, my God. Oh, no. Hypothetically speaking, if Thank your you. dude says oh. he's not going to sign the certificate. <laughs> if I, if my family believed that we were, and because yes, we did it in front of them, if my family believed, <laughs> let's say we had the ceremony we all talked about hypothetically. If we, had the cere- if we had the religious ceremony and it appeared to look as if I was, then I would. As long as I can get away with that, I'm fine. Because I, in my heart, I know I did it in front of my creator. I don't really care what the government says. If we, if, if we divorce, if we divorce, I would not want anything anyway. I came into it on my own. I don't want anything from you. That's you as a matter of fact. I, I, I'm, I'm missing something. Yeah. Did you that question? I'm missing. Yes, something. I think I did. I don't think you did. But, but okay. shouldn't, shouldn't wait a minute? But shouldn't adhering to the rules of your beliefs talk what other people think in general anyway? Like if they got a my ma- my family, my family is important to me, and also my own religious beliefs are important to me. I've done that okay. long enough. I've shacked up long enough, as you guys already know, for ten years is a long time. I, I'm not doing that again. I'm not doing that again. Wait, wait, Shaw, that again. Whoa, whoa, you just, you just asked me you what what Shaw. other people say is it important. No, you you're me. not. See, listen, you're doing the girl thing. You're not listening. You're talking in your head while I'm saying something to you. Listen to what I'm saying. I said. If you are going to have a marriage according to your beliefs, shouldn't, as long as you adhere to your beliefs, trump what your family and friends think anyway? No, because what my mother thinks it matters to me. I really don't care so much about just my friends, but my, my mother it is important to me. Wow. Okay. It's not just okay. about my beliefs, but it really doesn't I mean, matter how my mother answer, though. Okay. That's an honest you answer, though, Logic. I said, that's an honest I, I, answer. I, I accepted it. I didn't yeah, not accept the answer. <laughs> Just said what? All right. Making some progress. All right. You accepted so, it. What do you know? Not much. All right. So if any listeners want to chime in to this question, would you marry your man? Obviously, I guess this is going to the women. Would you marry the man if he um, did everything except sign the paper. Would you marry him? You can actually go to, now we have it set up where you can go to our website, noconduct.com, www.noconduct.com, and on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, just click on that little chat box, and you can enter your chat, and we'll see it live. Um, So let me go ahead and read some of the answers that we've gotten. Uh, It's not a deal breaker, but he should have explained that before giving the ring. Um, What the hell kind of sham marriage is that? He can go kick rocks since he's not committed enough to put it on paper. Um, Nope, as a matter of fact, they put the peace out sign, so I guess, you know, that means what they're breaking up. That means no, not happening. Yeah, oh yeah, breaking up, yeah. Uh, Somebody else said, is it a deal breaker? No, he would just have to explain why. I do know that you have to obtain a marriage license. However, I do not think all states require a couple to sign the marriage certificate. Now, it may just uh, make it harder to prove you're married later, seeing that your name will not be changed. Um, And if you think about it, there are plenty of women who have been with a man for years, no ring, no ceremony, no nothing, but they are playing the marriage game. Yeah. So uh, that that sounds like the one rational one that I heard about that whole list. Uh, let's see, there was another one, and then I need to go to a different area for more answers. Give me one second. Uh, oh, she said, uh, she said, okay, so this says, I guess they, uh, somebody, one of our listeners asked somebody else, um, and that person, so this is the quote that I get, she said that he could be married already or he is hiding something more serious. So that's why that person wouldn't do it. Oh, wow. Wow. Um, and let me go. 
All right, so here are some more answers. Uh, it would depend on what he planned to tell everyone else. I don't have any strong feelings about marriage on paper either, so exchanging tokens and having a big celebration with friends and family sounds good to me on its own merit. If he's saying, but we have to tell my family it's real certificate and everything marriage, then he's not interested in the level of transparency transparency, parency I require in a life partner. Uh uh, this one came from a guy. Assuming I were a woman, I'd have to go with hell no. Uh, we have an acquaintance who is married and has a few small kids, and he mentioned that when he proposed to his now wife, he proposed provisionally, uh, which is about the stupidest thing ever, in my humble opinion. Uh, he said marrying someone is a sign of commitment or at least the intent of committing. By proposing provisionally, you're saying, yeah, I'm prepared to commit to marrying you, maybe, unless I change my mind or meet someone better. Uh, let's see. No, if he can't man up and marry you with the paper, then he's not worth hanging out and wasting precious minutes of your life. I once had a friend who had a similar experience with a man she loved. They lived together for over 15 years, sharing almost everything except that paper. He got cancer and had a long and slow, terrible death where she sat by his side and was his caregiver for the entire time. He did pass away, and before his body was cold in the ground, his family swooped in and kicked her out of their home. And he put, they, is this a woman? This is a woman. They put their in quotes. You see, they never solidified anything. His house was in his name, as were his other possessions, even the ones they purchased together because they were in his house, quote-unquote, because they had never had that little piece of paper. Over 15 years of precious life was spent with this man, and for what? Nothing. All the wow. time, love and energy spent <clears throat> building an empire together was destroyed, as they didn't have that paper, nor did, nor did he have a will that named him as her, as her beneficiary. Damn. Needless to say, she was devastated. She eventually met another man, and yes, she you can bet she married him and still is to this day. Wow. So apparently yeah. that contract does matter with the government. It's for the, like but, y'all say, no, does it have to be reported to the government to make it official? The, apparently the, so. No, 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 Shar. What they forgot was the will, and I put that into question, the will. He left a will with everything to her, so that was Oh, yeah, you fault. did say that. Yeah, you did. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's still protected um, in some manner. That's true. Yeah. In the one, life insurance, right? <laughs> this one is actually coming from a therapist. Uh, no, I would not because he's an idiot. First, check to see if you live in a state that recognizes common law marriage because if you do, then you are definitely married. Second, because right. many, many, many of the legal and governmental benefits of marriage come with that piece of paper. Why you'd go through a marriage cer ceremony but say no to the majority of the things that marriage offers in terms of your legal bond and your mutual prosperity is pretty ridiculous. Uh, talk to a family <laughs> law attorney. A one-hour consult is enough. Well, step, common, law well common law is seven years. Common law is seven okay. years. California okay. is. Where, where, what state are they in? Uh, it's, different in it's different in each state. Well, what about um, PA? That's what BJ's asking. Is, B, is PA one? I, I don't know. I never looked it up. Oh, okay. Somebody look it up while Why I'm reading you? this. Yeah, okay. All right, so here's another one. He wants the fun fantasy of being married but doesn't want to be committed. Maybe he already married somebody else. Wow, that's two people who said that. Maybe he already Ugh. married somebody else. You could do a record search to find out, which is what I told that other person. You could actually just ask for his social and just basically find out everything about yeah. him. Yeah, it's public information. Um, yeah. Yeah, you could do a record search to find out the county clerk uh, where you should be able to look it up for you. The thing is right. you should marry a guy only if you are on the same page, which means you have discussed your potential life and future and have agreement about what it should be. I'm astonished you would agree to go through with this play act without finding out what his intentions really are. And then hmm. they went on to say, okay, a lot of young people don't realize that you have to get a marriage license to be legally married and that the ceremony isn't the actual marriage. Maybe you don't uh, – I guess they're thinking I'm really asking this. I don't know. Maybe you didn't know better and thought he was really marrying you. Too many people get fascinated hmm. by the frosting and decorations and forget to check if there's cake mm -hmm. under there. Frosting without cake isn't very satisfying <laughs> no matter how well it's decorated. It's cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> Decorated cardboard. <laughs> Wow. Wow. So somebody else, this is coming from a guy. Well, that's somewhat confusing. 
Come on, go. Sorry, my cat is trying to climb up here. Uh, Well, that's somewhat confusion. You must have traveled from some significant highs to deep lows. If I were you, and thankfully I'm not, I would have a very uh, clinical conversation and be prepared to sway either way depending on on the responses from your husband. But that wouldn't be husband, right? Uh, Yeah, that's right. You have, uh, let's see. Uh, ah, ask why he felt the need to say that. Depending on his answer, tell him how much it hurts you and assess his respo- response. I recall me and my wife talked about something similar before we got wet. To me, I'd have been just as happy either way, but I realized that it is necessary to do the right thing for the other as well as for extended families. Marriage is a general, gen- uh, genuine partnership. For him to say that now is frankly awful. Mm. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I think. Oh, okay. Logic was having issues. Sorry, Logic. I didn't see you were having issues. I was reading from our from our listeners. Oh, All right. Um, okay. Uh, here's another one. Um, I would be concerned about what he's hiding. That's the third person who said that. I would be concerned about what he's hiding. There's a there's a reason that he doesn't want to be married on paper, and it mm-hmm. could have to do with his net worth, prior relationships, child support, not wanting to sign right. the prenup. It's a huge red flag to me, uh, and without a thorough explanation, I have my doubts about the entire relationship. Usually it's money related, wow, A lot of though. people answer this thing. Good God. Yeah. How many more? Yeah, but it's usually oh money related. God. But see, but you, but you guys, my first answer was pretty much going along with almost everyone else's answers, which I didn't know they were going to answer that way. But then once <laughs> I thought about it, but once I thought about it, I was like, well, it doesn't really matter so much what the government says or knows if they, you know, have anything to do with this. Because if you, as long as, for me, it was more like a religious, spiritual choice of wanting, wanting it to be official. But everyone else was more concerned about, no, protection and rights and benefits. Do you know yeah, what I mean? And, and, and you, so, would, you would be a fool to believe yeah. that all of these women, because the majority of women that are saying all this stuff, the only thing that all of that's about is they want the government to have the right to yeah. then come in when she decides she that's doesn't it, want to yeah. be married to him anymore, that she can and now she can start up. digging through his, his expenses yeah. and yeah. his finances and everything because we still have an yeah. archaic – the divorce system that was designed for when people lived out on the prairie and when they used to ride off talking about, I'm going to go sell the cattle and I'll be back, and he would never come back. He would go out to San Francisco or something and start over. Those laws back then were meant to to, to support and protect those women at that time that couldn't work. These bums now that don't want to get a job and get their own houses and everything like that, they want to be able to fleece men on the way out of the door. So the fact of the last time I asked a question like this was if a dude loves you and everything but he wants you to sign a prenup that says you leave with what you came with, all of those women at that time said they wouldn't marry him either. So apparently (laughs) they won't sign prenups to get married through the state, and then they won't (laughs) not get married through the state if he's going to give them all these provisions with life insurance and all this and property. And you, you see how they're trying to act like he doesn't want to commit? He's giving property. He's yeah. saying, you can have my house if I die. This insurance, this life insurance that I bought was I mean, made out completely yeah. to you. And so you have you access want? to my body and the burial and everything. I'm yeah. putting all of that in the, in the, um in my will. But and I just I want to forego yeah. the government the being government. in my business. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. He best believe that. I was, I was, I was. <laughs> it's all about having power and strength. Power. Yep. Like Tyrese, that's like all Tyrese said, what more do you want? Tyrese is a punk, okay? And furthermore, <laughs> what he, more he, decided, do you want? <laughs> he decided to slide up in some chicken dumping her and have a baby. He's an idiot, okay? Because you, you don't do business like that. Well, actually, like that, that was his wife. Expect. They were speaking of marriage. I don't that was care. His wife. Did, he, did he have paperwork in, in place? No. That's why he's being fleeced. That's the whole. That's the whole reason he is on camera crying because he didn't sign paperwork. He fell for the smile, and he felt for the, he felt for the women in his family saying, "Now you better get married to the state because they've been. Yeah, this is a sham marriage, and I ain't showing up." Well, guess what? I guess I ain't going to see you for a while. 
Yeah, yeah but lo- the logic, the logic. They never said they were arguing over over a divorce, or a divorce, you know, proceedings or what 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 I uh, what I should have, what what I've come into the relationship with and to the marriage with. They're not. That's not the issue. The issue was child abuse that led to the you know separation. They're not even divorced yet, and that and then and then also no, custody and, cu- and no, no, no. custody, Char. custody, Char. custody, and she not only custody back- but child Char, support. Would you listen for a second? She took him back to court. Because he got another deal on the Fast and Furious uh, trilogy or whatever he's a part of. He had another bump in his salary. She took him back to court to get more money from him. Yep, so it had yep. nothing to do with abuse. But that's why yep. he was crying because he didn't get that job. Remember, did that was that recent? Because literally, oh was that God. a recent no, development? Char, because Char. no, 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 no. Sweetheart. That was the reason why no. he was so upset what and crying. Was, the blues. Listen, what he was upset about with the Rock. Is mm-hmm. that the rock, right. they are postponing putting mm-hmm. out the next installment because they only get paid per movie. No other right. movie is knocking down Tyrese's door to be a part of. So that's pretty much the only thing he's got coming in. She right. took him back to court to reassess him for the money he's been making. So now she's oh. getting more on top of the seventeen thousand he was already paying her for a month. Right. Yeah. He every month. That. So that's why okay. he's frustrated. However, right. I don't feel sorry for him because if he made her sign some ironclad paperwork, he uh-huh. wouldn't be in this, this position. Yeah. But mm-hmm. he fell for the smile and the booty and, you know. <laughs> and you the know, pretty face and all that, yeah. Me. And that, that's why he's in the situation he's in. And all of these gold diggers that you see online talking about sham marriage and whatever. So if you feel that, that real about it, then all of these women should be chased in a relationship until they get married. Since they're so serious mm-hmm. about marriage and how the tenements have to be set up this way and all that, then none of these chicks should be banging at anybody outside of wedlock. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like a bunch of nonsense to me. It's, it's about they want to be able to call Uncle Sam. Yeah, yeah, but but okay, but yeah. how? But okay, but yet there is another issue of apparently that you know child abuse where, in which he lost Shayla, like he lost the daughter, and so do you think it really has very little to do with that, opposed to the fact of just control over money and you know the well, wife wanting again, more from him? I'm I'm going to put this in dude terms. Women can say anything to a family court judge, and they will act like. It happened until they do an investigation and find hard evidence that it didn't happen. So if she says, I got my daughter back and she had scratches all on her and, you know, he's been yelling and acting crazy and I think he abused her, that's all they need to say, wait a minute, now uh, your visitation has to be supervised until we can figure out what's going on. So that alone can destroy a dude, you know, emotionally. You know what I'm saying? So okay, but you know what? There, I mean, I are, if, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. If there is any kind of footage that she has of him acting crazy, which, judging from those videos he uploaded, she probably does have some crazy <laughs> voicemail. He's a little footage. touched mentally. Well, yeah. Yeah. So once <laughs> he does that, then all they're going to say is, "Well, I can see that you are completely out of control, so I'm going to scale mm-hmm. this back, and you are not going to be able to have access to the." That's all it takes. Well, you right. know what? Here, here's the thing. I don't know too many black fathers who would not beat your beat your behind if you can't sit down. Apparently, that's that was the only allegations, and I think they dropped it. You yeah. know, culturally, that's just what we do. I, mean, I don't know how many grandmothers won't get a switch and and beat you until you can't sit down. I mean, that's just what it is. But in America's courts, that looks like child abuse. Abuse. We discipline our children in different ways, and they sure well, enough listen to us, and they have a little was, bit more respect uh, than little Johnny over there who gets to do whatever. Hmm? Well, what was not that? all black people, not all black yeah, people I do be, that. I would, but I, I think, I, I think the bigger problem is here again, government being involved with your personal life. Right. The, the court personal. should not be able to come in and say, no. How to discipline your child? We, we believe in timeout. So mm-hmm. unless you're going to do that, anything else <laughs> we consider to be, you know, like where do you draw the right. line? Because everybody right. doesn't raise the kids the same way. So who are you? to yeah. come in as a court official and say, no, you're doing that wrong, and because I think you're doing that wrong, I'm taking your kid from you. Mm-hmm. They don't have that right. Crazy. Man, my behind still hurts now. I was bad as a kid, so. And I never, yeah, I know there's no child abuse. It is all still that behind, hurts. All, all, 
I'm sure. Uh, oh, he said that. <laughs> <laughs> you said all that behind. Sorry, well, yeah, behind. I sure have a lot of it. I do, I do have a lot of it. You're right. Okay. I don't know why you would think it cushioned it or something, but you know, no. Mm-mm. But no, I mean, everybody is different. I'm just saying that was supposed to be the allegations. There was just a whole lot going on with that. So really, at the end of the day, people want money, and they'll do whatever they can to get it. So. Exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like honestly, do you? I mean, do you think that uh, Kim Kardashian would have married Kanye? If he was like, nah, you know, I don't, I don't want to get married under the laws <laughs> of the state, and I, you know, or if he was willing to marry her, you have to sign this paperwork that says you're going to take your booty stink money and kick rocks. You ain't going to get none of this Kanye <laughs> music money on the way out, chicken right. pop. Do you think for one they second they would be mad? She would marry no. me. No, and, and guess what? Nope. As rich as Beyonce was, is she wouldn't be married to no Jay Z unless she could mm-hmm. have some of that reasonable doubt money. Yeah, she would have to come up on some of that. <laughs> yeah, uh, hard yeah, times of life, uh, life yeah, of cards, yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever that yeah. album was. Yeah, yeah I want yeah. some of that black album on the way out. That, what? That rock how many Grammys way, yeah. do you have? <laughs> <laughs> you want some of my money? Oh yeah. no, it's crazy. Well, well, that concludes our show <laughs> for this week. <laughs> well, I was going to say, um, this has been one crazy show. I learned a lot, some things I didn't need to know. But um, <laughs> we actually had a lot more answers to that question. And I, I think for the most part, all the answers were no. So... That's very interesting. Shock me. I, 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 I mean, the thing is, is there <laughs> nobody's saying that he, the the guy is hiding you, is hiding anything, you know, nothing like that. It's just he doesn't want to get married <laughs> on paper for one reason or another. But apparently, that's unacceptable. They're even, using even that as an excuse. Kai, listen, Kai, you know how many dudes are talking to girls right now, and they tell this girl, hey, listen, uh, I work a lot, so when I get home, I just like to go straight to sleep, so I can't really talk to you when I get home. I just go to sleep, and, you know, I call. You know how many girls are going with that, like, oh, yeah, he works a lot, and that is so <laughs> clear that there's somebody at that house that he does not want to know, you know that he's talking that to you. If you yep. call him and you hear him in the garage or where are you at in the car, why are you in the car and you're at home? <laughs> oh, well, you know, I came out to take the trash out. That girl is an idiot, okay? Yep. She doesn't have – there is no thing about, oh, well, he's hiding you, so that's why you should leave. There's plenty of chicks in relationships where it's clear the guy might be doing something, but they're just with him because they want to be with him. So if this dude is showing you and going through all of these things to show you, I want you here and everything. I just got a problem with the government. I don't like them. I don't want them in my business. I don't think it's right. If she's willing to walk, it's because she wants the government involved. And why would that be? Because they roll out the red carpet for the woman when it comes to divorce. Take the house, get his money, and he has nothing. And I hope you're ready to, to – Give her the, quote, lifestyle that she's gotten accustomed to. That she deserves or that she got used to, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know how they say that, yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) If you're spoiled, you 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 got to stay spoiled after the fact. (laughs) Yeah, the co-founder of PayPal had to give his girl $300 million because she decided to leave. Because she decided to leave and bang her tennis instructor. Wow! Well, he's got to pay her. Let's talk about that next show. Let me get this. Let me get this plug out. Hold on. (laughs) Let's talk about that next show. Let me get this plug out. Next week we are actually off the air. Is it next week? Yeah, next week we are actually off the air. It's Thanksgiving, so everybody's taking a needed break. That's the only time of the year we get a break, isn't it? So we're off the air yeah. next week. Um, we will definitely miss y'all, but we will be back on the 30th. On the 30th, hopefully we'll have a guest on, and we're talking about how to give good um, – we'll be good givers, oh. let me put it that way. Yeah, good, oh, yeah, good givers. Oh. So the how to give good givers. So we're going to be talking how about that on the 30th. How to give good to your man. Uh, we, we also have our shop <laughs> really? up on noconduct.com, really? so go to noconduct.com. 
and you'll see in the menu NCR store. So go there to buy any of your shirts that you need with our with any of our quotes on there, especially the one that says, it's fine, it's not alcohol, it's just wine. So we'll see you again on the 30th. Enjoy your holiday. Everybody Peace have out, a great everyone. Thanksgiving holiday. Please be safe. Greetings from Las yeah. Vegas. Have a good one. Oh, my God. Goodbye, oh. y'all. <laughs> Bye-bye now. Have a my great God. turkey day, everybody. Yeah. How long Bye-bye. is it going to say bye, y'all? Bye, Hello. y'all. Is she done? Is she done? <laughs> no, I'm not. Keep, Goodbye. Keep, keep. Goodbye. Oh, the, air the air stewardess. The air stewardess. Goodbye. Keep, 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 I'm keep cutting her off. <laughs>